Because our respectful submission is right to vote is your own exercise of franchise. It's the least level of participation as a political actor in a democracy. The minute your levels of participation starts increasing, if I want to fund and influence the system as a whole, of course I cannot be claiming privacy or confidentiality. If I'm holding a public office, my level of confidentiality or privacy will be restricted to my family zone. To the statutory provisions which prevent public disclosure, because those are the statutory amendments. The scheme follows based on those amendments, namely amendment to section 29C of the Representations of People Act and section 182 of the Companies Act. Those were the public disclosure provisions. The scheme, once the public disclosure comes with the scheme, there is no real scheme to survive. Now, this is to answer my Lord Justice Khanna's question, what are we challenging? We are challenging those two statutory provisions because once that goes, the scheme itself collapses. The basis of the scheme is non-public disclosure. Plus, with that, plus, I would submit why do we need in rejoinder two points only. Why do we need public disclosure? Plus, number one, plus, as the US Supreme Court said plus, in Buckley versus Valio, a political party may represent anything to the electorate. It may self-ascribe any label to itself to the electorate. But one of the best ways of determining what the party is about is where or who it is going to be most responsive to is where it gets its funds from. If that aspect itself is removed from the public domain, so a party can say X, take the money from Y or other interests and the public has no way of knowing. So public information is necessary for voter to form its view into voting. That is a substantive right to vote as an informed right to vote. And therefore that information as to who has given you money too, so that the voter can match what you are saying. Are you taking money? Are you a green party? You're claiming to be a green party, but taking money from, uh, from oil interest. There are n number of examples. So that is one interest which is necessary. Second, Malo, the question fell from the court yesterday to the government that how will you prevent quid pro quo? Malas, quid pro quo has been used by both sides very broadly. Let me just try and uh, bifurcate it. Malas, one would be Malas, policy influence or policy capture, strictly not corruption. Second will be legislative influence or legislative capture, strictly not corruption either. Malas, the final stage would be corruption or bribery. Malas, the only, in my respectful submission, the only constitutional safeguard against preventing quid pro quo is in fact public disclosure. And well, one constitutional court in well, South Africa, I just want to place two paras in rejoinder. Normally, I wouldn't place paras of a judgment. Only two paras because exact same situation arose in well, South Africa. And the constitutional court of South Africa has said that the only way to ensure that these other things, well, nothing can be removed in a polity is a complex space. Surely we can't express, well, expect a perfect world. But from, from areas or zones of influence to movement to zone of corruption, that can be prevented by public disclosure. Your lordships will just have page 6654. So my respectful submission is public disclosure is the real check. Public disclosure is the real check. And therefore, from all the kind of things which happen in politics, from that to moving into the zone of corruption. And in a democracy, it's the public which tests the party every day. So effectively, that is the biggest check. Plus, finally, an uh, argument on confidentiality was made. A certain formulation of that was made on privacy. And a comparison was made to right to vote is a secret right to vote. And therefore, this by extension, you should have a secret right to fund. In effect, if I understood, that was the formulation. Because our respectful submission is right to vote is your own exercise of franchise. It's the least level of participation as a political actor in a democracy. The minute your levels of participation starts increasing, if I want to fund and influence the system as a whole, of course, I cannot be claiming privacy or confidentiality. If I'm holding a public office, my level of confidentiality or privacy will be restricted to my family zone. So unless this privacy, even in respect, of course, corporations don't have a right to privacy. It's Article 21, right? Flows from right to life. So that is out. But plus, even assuming natural persons who may be donating, their right to privacy can certainly, your right to confidentiality, whichever way we frame it, cannot extend to an area where they will now impact the entire political system and seek to do so secretly as a matter of right. Plus, of course, it cannot be. So plus, as we go up the system, in terms of our political influence, the proportionality doctrine will ensure that your ability to assert confidentiality or privacy as a right is reduced. Parties which were getting 70 to 75 percent of their political disclosed contributions from Czech bank RTGS, that's the disclosed uh, white channels, are now getting 20 percent, 15 percent. The electoral anonymous scheme has taken over. 
at the cost of white channel. So my submission for lordship consideration is this. It's not to attack the black money. It's actually to attack the white disclosed channel. And that's the actual impact as well of the scheme. And Malaz, I'll just place the data and then Malaz, I'll go to my next point. Well, what we have done, we did an exercise. What we have done, Malaz, at 29C, every party gives a contribution report uh, above 20,000. Above 20,000, they're required to. Malaz, we collated the last 10 years from 2013 onwards, all the reports. These are list of donors who came. That's right. So from each of the list, we have taken all the list of donors and it says against that, for instance, it says check number DD, etc. Correct? My laws will have the first cash entry in this one is at 5553. That's it, less than uh, 2000. No, it's more than 20,000. Plus more than 20,000, you have to disclose whether cash or check. Either way, you have to disclose. That's the statutory requirement. 5553. Five. Five, 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 Look at 153. Serial number 153 in that chart. Some Mr. VV, 1 lakh cash. So, Malaz, what I have done, Malaz, each entry we have added up for two largest political parties for two years to get the numbers because there was no other way to do it. This is not information available in the public domain. This was the only way to do it. So, we have added up each of the entries to determine what is the check amount which they were getting as a percentage of their funding in 2013 14 and what they're getting post electoral bonds. And Malaz, the net result of that, Malaz, I prepared a chart for your Lordship's consideration. The learned court master will kindly screen share that, that document which has been emailed. So Malaz, my respectful submission is now the entire political funding substantially is anonymous. Because Black Channel continues. Malaz, at the cost, at the cost, if the, Malaz, if the objective is to have some kind of disclosure, at the cost of disclosed white money, if you are increasing non-disclosed white money, Malaz, that's what the real Lordship will have this chart, page one. Uh, there's a little flaw because of the non uh, the uh, bearer bonds as such are bearer bonds that that's going to create that's creating a problem. That's all we have understood that argument. And well, I'm making the argument solely to meet the union's justification of the scheme, which is that it's meant to bring in black money into the white system. My respectful submission to meet that is it actually does the opposite. It takes away the non-anonymous white money and puts it in the anonymous kitty. That's my submission. That we already have. That's right. So, Malaz, I am saying, therefore, to that extent, A, the justification is not valid, and B, for that reason, it's arbitrary as well. It doesn't meet even the stated justification. Of the Malaz, because the determining principle, Malaz, one of the tests of arbitrariness your lordships have stated is, it is absent a determining principle. Malaz, here the stated determining principle is contrary to what the scheme actually does and intends to do. What it basically, according to you, does is that it brings into the fold. Earlier, what, what you had uh, non-anonymized uh, white money. That's right. Now that is replaced increasingly by anonymized white money. And that's the real victim or target of this scheme, not the black money. That's my res respectful submission. Because black money will continue irrespective. That funding will keep on continuing. So now the two channels, both are anonymized, white and black. That's my respectful side. That's the scheme. That's the real picture which this scheme does to our political financing, Malaz. That's what it does. Malaz, finally, Malaz, I'll just conclude by Malaz, one quote. Malaz, Thomas Jefferson and Malaz, my learned friend Mr. Bhatia says that the best protection against victimization is full transparency. Malaz. So that, just want to emphasize that. And Malaz, finally, I would just like to end with a quote Malaz, by Thomas Jefferson. He said, Malaz, currents, uh, information is the currency of democracy. And well, someone added to that quote saying it's it's non-disclosure should always be suspect. I'm grateful. Certainly don't give rejoinders, right? mm. but I have no mm. objection. As an intervener, not technically, right? But let me Lord, have the something to add, my Lord. My Lord, the two quotes which my learned friend Mr. Solicitor started saying, practicality requires that I contribute to political parties. Practicality requires, these are my Lord, from the quotation because now we have the advantage of my Lord, YouTube and the transcript. Require I contribute with a degree of confidentiality so that I am not victimized in future. But this is the whole basis, my lord, of the scheme. But my submission is, my lord, but we are talking of political parties. We are not talking of rival groups who are collecting money. And the political parties find, my lord, fight election on the basis of their development activities, maybe on freebies, maybe on caste census, but not a lot that we will victimize a political person, a person who does not pay us, at least who is who's paying, paying someone else more. But the whole foundation is, my lord, 
There is a confidentiality, otherwise there will be victimization. But with great amount of respect, my lord, nobody is coming forward to say, well, the rival group will be victimized. The government is trying to justify it, my lord, with, a, uh, with this contribution, with confidentiality. And the other justification is, my lord, the, my learned friend has some difficulty in using the opaqueness or, my lord, the anonymity. He said con confidentiality. Very well, my lord. Confidentiality of 100 or 1,000 corporate houses, would it, my lord, override? The right of information of 140 people of this country, my lord. That is already argued. No, I have, my lord, what they said, my lord, yes, the confidentiality is the key, is the required. Confidentiality of 100 or 1000 corporate houses is required. But my lord, my submission is right of the citizens would override, would override, my lord, overweigh the right of the donors. How can you say, my lord, the 140 crores people's right, I will not, I will not take into account. I will take into account the right of the 1,000, my lord, or 100, my lord, or 5,000 corporate houses. Thirdly, my lord, the black money Mr. Sibbal has given, lord, I will give a chart, my lord, of the RBI guide, my lord, from the RBI source. The amount of money was, my lord, in 18, 18 lakh crore cash in 19, 17, 18, when the scheme was introduced, and today, 22, 23, it is 33 lakh crores, my lord. The details are given with the page numbers in a tabulated form in a chart. To the court master, my lord, lordship, my lord, just, just take into account if your lordship should to take that, my lord, the black money has not gone or cash money has not gone. Fourth, my lord, my learned friend, Mr. Sol, uh, the, Mr. Mehta said that what was will happen is pre 2017 era, and he gave the figures from 2004 to 2014 15, where my lord, he did not name the BJP got 65 percent from undisclosed source. Presently also, my chart at page 59 says in my written submission, 65% is from undisclosed source presented by them. The same amount of undisclosed source remains, my lord, even with this scheme. And finally, my lord, as a citizen, I must say, my lord, that my learned friend, Mr. Mehta, said this was the best solution we found. As a citizen, my lord, the best solution would be no cash donation. My learned friend says, digitization has gone in our country nine times the more than Europe and US together, five times more than China. Let there be no digital, no cash transactions, my lord. It will stop. Everybody would know it. Thank you, Mr. I'm Mr. extremely grateful to your lordship, lord, and it's yes, very Mr. difficult Pastor. for me.